welcome back in the last video we have seen the introduction of trigonometry okay right so we have seen that trigonometry is part of mathematics where the relationship between the sides of a right angle triangle are established by using mathematical tools called as trigonometric ratios okay right if this is right angle triangle if these are the sides of a right angle triangle then i can use trigonometric ratios a mathematical tools with the help of which i can give the relation between a by b b by a c by a whatever you want in between them right a by c how all the combinations whatever you want okay so before going into these trigonometric identities and know what are they okay i know you are you are eager to learn about them but before that we will go step a little bit back and try to understand about angles okay see what we are saying in trigonometry it is to measure the angles and sides of a triangle that means how you are giving the relation between the sides you can also give the relation between the angles also you know this is always 90 degrees these two angles are complementary okay that's the first step now let us step back and see how the angles are measured what is the measurement unit for measuring angles okay what we know earlier what we are going to learn now how to how to convert the angles from one measurement system to another measurement system actually i am talking about degrees and radian radians okay these are the two measurement units which we use generally use to measure the angles of a triangle or any anywhere you want to measure the angle okay right now let us try to understand the relation between them so in this video we will focus upon how to find out a dig number of degrees of a angle and if you know the degrees how to convert them into radians what is the formula to convert from degrees to radians and by the way what is the meaning of radians how to define a radian how i can establish a relationship between the degrees and radians okay for that let me just go ahead and take a triangle sorry it's a circle i lost drawing circles last touch with them yeah i was teaching circle some time back to somebody okay fine right okay this is a circle you know and the circle will have what circle will have radius so i am taking two radius and suppose this radius is r this radius is r and also this length across the circumference what this is called as yes you are right this is called as arc and what this whole thing is called as this part of circle is called as sector part of circle is called as sector okay let me repeat that again what i am saying is if i take a circle of radius r okay two radiuses such that in between them the length of the arc is also is r then this angle whatever you are making is known as one radian this angle is known as one radian let me see what is the symbol for radian just give me one minute radian is given by at the top with c so that is one radian let me give you the definition of radian you know degrees right we know degrees right we say some of the angles is 180 degrees this angle is 90 degrees what how you know suppose you take a circle you take a circle you start at a point and go all around and come back what is the angle you have made 360 degrees yes you are absolutely right if you started here and you stopped midway what is the angle you are making yes this time also you are correct this is 180 degrees if i stopped half of what i have done earlier that is 90 degrees similarly if i moved 3/4 of the total distance then this angle is 270 degrees are you with me so if i start from here 0 degrees 
if I go here I am making an angle of 90 degrees with the horizontal direct positive direct horizontal axis positive direction in anti-clockwise direction always remember the direction is very 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 important right right if I move still further I am making 180 degrees if I move still further I am making 270 degrees if I come back I am making a complete circle I am making an angle of 360 degrees now just remember that okay that means if I have to complete one revolution if I have to complete one revolution that is nothing but if I have to cover complete circumference my degrees are 360 degrees now let's go back to the radian definition again I'm sure you got it I will explain it again I'll I'll just I'll briefly explain it again see here if you have a see now what what we are interested we are interested in what is radian and how to establish relationship between degrees and radians by the way degrees and radians are the measurement units for measuring the angles wherever you have angles and you know angles are formed whenever two rays intersect with each other yes fine perfect now let's come back to the definition of radians okay right now if you have a sector made up with two radiuses r and an arc of length r then the angle made okay at the center of the sector is nothing but equal to one radian okay now tell me suppose instead of this arc length is r suppose the length is total circumference that means one is here okay instead of this i have moved my r like this like this like this and it again came back and coincided here i means i have moved all 360 degrees right now what it will be let me write it here right for length of let me write it somewhere where you can see it just give me a minute okay see here what i am saying is by definition radius is r radius is r length of arc is r angle is one radian this is simple mathematics right radius is r length is r angle is one radian okay now radius is r again length is 2 pi r you know right circumference of the circle is nothing but 2 pi r okay what will be the angle can you tell me very simple right r by 1 is nothing but equal to 2 pi r by x r r cancels x is nothing but equal to 2 pi right that means 2 pi what yes you are absolutely right 2 pi radians now you know also when you go around circumference what is the number of degrees you make 360 degrees right one revolution with the degrees is 360 one revolution with radians is 2 pi radians so i can equate both of them i can say 2 pi radians should should i should I write it in a 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees are you with me this gives me this gives me what 1 radian 1 radian is equal to 360 degrees by 2 pi that is nothing but 180 degrees by pi this is the relationship this is the relationship between radians and degrees or if you want to remember simply like me i just go by 2 pi radians equal to 360 degrees okay should i repeat this stuff before we do some simple examples and close this session huh? okay fine let me just summarize this super okay in the last video we have gone through the introduction of trigonometry we have seen why trigonometry is what trigonometry is and we understood that trigonometry gives us mathematical tools by name trigonometric ratios which will enable us to find the relationship between the sides and angles of a right angle triangle and by the way if i haven't told you trigonometry is used in every field of engineering 
it is used in astronomy it is used in satellite navigation system and also it is being used in uh, analyzing how the stock market is going to trend so so you can see it's a part of your daily life everywhere if you are a musician your keyboard if basically into science if you look into physics you use 2 pi wherever 2 pi is there 2 pi is coming from where it's coming from the sine wave right okay so everywhere trigonometry is there super now what we have done after that is we stepped back before going into the trigonometrical ratios which we thought we will discuss we thought that okay now you are saying trigonometry is also give the relationship between the angles let me say in which measurement angles are measured we know angles are measured in degrees but for convenience because degrees are always in terms of 90 180 270 or 360 radians is seems to be more feasible and flexible way of denoting the angle between the two sides okay for that we have defined radians the radian is defined as if a circle of radius r is creating an sector okay with an arc of length r that means you have two radiuses in between you have an arc of length r then the angle subtended at the center of the sector r angle subtended by the arc between the radiuses is nothing but known as one radius now we try to establish the relationship between the we try to establish the relationship between the degrees and radians we know that if if i take a point and i go for one full complete revolution a, a, along the circumference of a circle i know that i have made 360 degrees now i i will try to find out how i how much i will do if i do the complete revolution with respect to radians so what i did i have extended my one side of the radius of the sector to move from and to coincide again back that means i have completely gone through one revolution now i know one revolution in degrees is 360 degrees i found what is one revolution in radians and i found that 2 pi radians equal to 360 degrees or one radian is nothing but equal to 180 degrees by pi this is the relationship which we are going to use and which is very extensively used and you will see that after some time somebody comes and tells you okay sin pi by 4 immediately you will say yeah you are talking about sin 45 degrees because pi is 180 okay pi by 4 right you have to multiply with 180 by pi pi by 4 into 180 by pi 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 cancels 4 into 45 is 180 so let's do some simple examples to understand how to convert from degrees to radians and radians to degrees in the next video we will go ahead and i assure you i promise you i'll not break the promise next video i'll certainly cover you what is sin cos tan i know you are getting curious eager yes i am too okay let's just clear this and move ahead right now the relationship i have is 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees now okay right now what is one radian in degrees if you are interested in that is nothing but i said 180 by pi pi value you can take for simplicity as 22 by 7 or 3.14 but you know that it is not exactly the correct value but we will take it as 180 by pi it becomes 180 by 22 by 7 there is nothing but 180 into 7 by 22 comes around 57 degrees and 16 minutes by the way you know that degrees also have minutes like we have hours and minutes and seconds in time in degrees also you have degrees and also you have minutes and also you have seconds one right angle okay let me write it here how it is simple one right angle should i say one right angle right angle is equal to 90 degrees one degree is equal to 60 minutes 60 minutes and one minute one minute is equal to 60 seconds okay right are you with me okay super 
Now we found the relation between radians and degrees. Now let us try to do some simple examples how we can do it. Now I am giving you the I am giving you the degrees, I want radians and also I want, I will give you the radians and I want degrees. You are going to do it for me. You can pause the video, try this out. By the time you come back, if you have not got it, I will be solving it for you. And you can do like this any number of, any number of problems. Okay, right. Now let me say that this is degrees this is radians. Here it is in radians, it is in degrees. Now I will do one for you because I have not done earlier any one. Okay. Degrees is 180 degrees, you are aware of that, 90 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees. What are they in radians? Similarly what is pi by 4, what is 2 pi by 5, what is pi by 6? What is 5 pi by 12? You have to convert a degrees into radians and radians into degrees using the formula 2 pi radians is equal to nothing but 360 degrees. I can simply say 2 pi radians. Radians you just to denote by C there. Okay. What is the formula we have? 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. I will do one for from this side and this side, this table and first table and second table, you can try the remaining all. Now what is 90 degrees? 90 degrees, if you want to convert into radians, what I have to do? 90 degrees, I have to multiply by pi by 180. Are you with me? 2 pi is 360, 1 radian equal to 180, okay? 2 pi radians, 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. Okay, 1 degree equal to 2 pi by 360 radians that is nothing but into pi by 180. Okay, now what happens? This and this cancels, I will get pi by 2. So, this is nothing but equal to pi by 2. Now, can you do remaining all? Similarly, let me do one here on this side so that you are comfortable with that one too. I will erase, I will try to squeeze in some space for you. I will try to squeeze in some space for you and we will go ahead and do that. Okay, let me take this one. Super. Let us say what is pi by 6. You want to convert pi by 6 into degrees. Now, pi by 6 is in radians. That means I have to convert them into degrees. Now, I know 2 pi radians equal to 360. 1 radian is nothing but equal to 180 by pi. So, I will multiply by with pi by 6 into 180 by pi. Pi pi cancels and this gives me 30 degrees. So, I will go and write here 30 degrees. Okay. Now, you want to go ahead, pause the video. I am going to write it for you. You can come back and have a look at it. Okay. Okay. Right. This is pi. This is pi by 6. This is pi by 4, this is 45 degrees, this is 72 and this is 150, oops that is 75. You can cross check them and see how the values are changing. Okay. Pi by 4 is 45, 2 pi by 5 that is nothing but equal to 72, pi by 6 is 30, 5 into pi by 12 that is nothing but 75. Similarly, 180 is pi, 90 is pi by 2, 30 degrees is pi by 6, 45 degrees is pi by 4. You have to simply use this relationship. There is nothing Greek and Latin in there. It is very, very pretty simple. Okay. I will stop here. I will catch you in the next video. In the next video, we will go through the trigonometrical ratios. Okay. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now.